so today we're going to be installing a um, brand new uh, dash cam that we picked up and we're going to be using the Garmin constant power cable just to make things a little bit more simple. Uh, this is going to be installed on the uh, 2015 Passat but pretty much same thing from 2012 to um, 2020. Here's the cable, comes with a USB power adapter if you want to just run the wire and have it hanging, which is not too nice. We have a mount, we have a longer cable for fishing across, and then we have the actual camera at the bottom here, and it already has the mount on it with the 3M, it's a pretty discreet camera, um, so I'm trying to get it here so you don't even see it when you look in the mirror so we're just gonna insert the SD card it's a it's a mini the app is pretty um, it's, the app is pretty bad um, so we're just trying to get that to work with the with the dash cam so on the dash cam it just inserts um, just inserts here on the side um, there's a save button right on the front there we go now the app should recognize that we're just doing this step to just make sure that the camera is operating properly yep format okay so we're gonna just go to live view right now to just check. Join. So there, that's the the footage right now. So it's working properly. So we're gonna go on with the install and and have it fixed in permanently now. The reason why, though, that I've gone for a constant power is um, I've already tried it uh, on another car and it's uh, it worked well so hopefully it works well here I think it will it was the same car I've heard some people had troubles with it but we've had it for like six seven months now and it hasn't given us any problems and we're just gonna run the wire here and across the top. Go over it first. And we'll probably just secure it with like some tape over here. So we're just going to peel back this uh, weather strip in here on the side and there's a lot of room for you to just run a cable down the pillar. Um, we'll start there first before we we try to go through the, uh, the plastic piece at the top. So we fished it all the way across, across the headliner, can't see anything over here and down the uh, weather stripping now. And we've gotten to this point um, and we're going to just peel this back a bit, push this pl plastic forward a bit and I'm going to push the, the cable across. We're going to go into here and I'm going to remove this this coin holder and I'll be able to access the cable and put it exactly where I need it on the bottom. So I'm not going to run all the wire yet. I'm going to put the USB side in first and I'm going to come in and run it enough so that I can grab it. Okay. 
maybe easier to so to take out this coin thing you just it's pretty cold right now so everything's not that flexible Okay, so I was finally able to get this um, coin cover off. Um, now, there's going to be um, some space in the back to try and fish it towards the... Oh, if you, I don't know if you can... Yeah, it's, it's possible to see. There's a little gap there. I'm going to fish it under there and and then secure it. So the constant power comes like this, has a 10 minute, 10 minute, 24 hour and always on setting. So after 10 minutes, it should stop sending power to the camera. But through the app and through my experience with the other one, I've also noticed that um, the camera has a setting that if it detects anything, it'll turn on, which seems to override this. Um, comes with two Velcro um, adhesives. So you put one of these, the uh, USB side of this, and then the other one goes directly on top of it. So here's where I've decided to put the OBD2 um, connection. That's where it goes, that's what it looks like. Um, and now all that's left to do is to connect the camera, push the wire in and uh, close everything up. I'll just run through the rest of this here. Everything looks as it did before, and you can't really tell that a wire has been run. All right, it's cold.